Yep. But the thing is, the leverage on the screw becomes um, that great that it can actually unwind it. Hi guys, Brett here from Hearns Hobbies. And me. And Simon, that's right. And this is episode three you of sure? our... Three? I think it could be four, three. Two, one. <laughs> of our YZ4 SF2 build. Now, just a quick recap on where we had it last time. Oh, you've broken it already. We pretty much got it up to everything. Like as a slider, we've got to put some turnbuckles, shocks, bolt the wheels on, and this sucker's done. We're up to... You know? The sway bar installation. That's, that's right. That's, that's where bar. we left it last time. So won't you sway with me? Never, Let's get to it. Never. Let's get to it. Look, I'm straight in, mate. Yeah, Don't right. be left behind like on track. <laughs> how come there's how come there's four <laughs> sway bars in here? Four sway bars. What's going on here? Well, for people like you, you'll try and mount the other two somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. All right. No, you got two for carpet. Two for carpet. You're like two heavy ones, like for carpet Astro style Ooh. scenario, which we we'll just throw them in the bin. Why? Because they're you, like they're like telephone poles. Have you tried them? Too heavy. Like. Have you tried them? No. Do, do yourself a favour. Mm -hmm. Try them. Really? Yep. Is that Brett's hot tip for today? Brett's is hot it? tip. High traction track. Six so sway bars. so one point eight. <laughs> Mill sway bars. You, and if, you're a spastic. <laughs> and if it doesn't work on this, I can use it on the 8 scale. Yeah, I mean, there's more. Hey, you can I have a 1.5 mil driver? You can have a 1. Oh. That's it. Here we go. Thank you. Sway bars it is. So I'm going to insert, while it's on the tree, what I'll do with that is I'm going to screw the 4 into this while it's on the tree. That is pretty clever of you. That is one of the niftiest things I've seen come out of Healy's Hot Tips. Really? Hey, it's not a hot in, tip, it's just me being lazy and I don't lose them. Screwing in the set screws while on the parts tree. But hang on a second, we've got eight on the parts tree and how are you going to screw the other ones on? That's going to be awkward. No, I'm just going to screw the parts tree up to <laughs> <laughs> and then try and work out. You're an idiot. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> hey, you're right there, mate. How are we going with sway bar tweak? Is that a thing in these cars? Mm. 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 Sway bar tweak. Well, I'll put it to you this way. Yeah. No. Yeah. If you're going to be worried about sway bar t t week, guess what? Do you know how worried I am about everything? I have bad. That's how you lose things, Mr. Hilly. Well, you can lose that. I don't mind. I lost my so what's sanity. the measurement for the spacing on the links? The measurement for the spacings at the links. Well, I go from the corner We'll call it the corner. The front is 37, the rear, oh, the rear links. Five mil. Five mil, is that so front and rear? Front and rear is five mil. So spacing between the two ball ends, yep. when it's set, is so five millimeters. Zoom in so people can see what's what you're rattling on about. <clears throat> the distance between these. Would you like to set your calipers so at five millimeters, That please? one here, five mil? Yeah. And then what I the measurement other I was talking about was the corner of the bar out. Oh. Seems like an odd way to measure it no, for me. No. I would measure it from the end. No, I just make the actual anything. I make the bar flush. Flush? That's yep. a good starting point. Yep. Can you set the vernies to five millimeters please? Right here. Five, five point one. Five point zero one five. Yeah. Sounds technical, doesn't it? No. There was this one time I would have believed you. Mm. And then I saw you drive. And then I know for a fact that you are loose. On the tree. Are you You're on the tree. Off the tree. Why while Brett's setting the five millimeter gap. Ooh, these are all over the place. Yeah, I know they're all did over the place. Do you have your glasses on when you did these? Don't need glasses. Okay. You don't need glasses. <laughs> no, not at all. Well, why Brett is... Um, you haven't got Nans Plus 3s on again, have you? No. <laughs> no, I tried hey, then. You got a bit dizzy walking around in circles. <laughs> yeah, I did. While Brett's doing that, I'm just putting in the uh, little grub screws in the... on the little link that goes under the sway bar. Just pop them in straight away so you don't lose them on the bench. Handy tip. Yeah. And you are full of the tips this week. And when you've done them... You can it put could, the. It could take me a while. I can only go half a turn at a time. It's a little bit uh, 
Is it challenging, is it? A little bit. Yeah, well... Because I have to go whether it's going to be too tight or too loose, so... Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. I'd say it's going to need a good amount of... After that, we'll leave it on the tree. Leave it on the tree. Because then we can't lose them. Are we mount them here? Yep. God, you're an idiot. Have we got um, rub screws for the... Little balls? Yeah. Yes, mate. Little balls? Need a pair of pliers, please. Do you like those ones? Yeah, just like them ones. I'm just going to go ahead and put some grub screws into the collets. Really? On these? Yes, good idea. I'm not going to torque them up yet in case we need to position them. Just in the center. Yeah, but your center is different to my center. Is it? Is there like ants on center? And son. Yeah. Not sure. <clears throat> That's a bit subjective. <laughs> you are so deep in concentration there, mate. There's your grub screw, you little grub. Thank you. What do you like most about grub screws? Nothing. You get a good purchase on them. We were happy. So while it's on the tree... I had my first mechanical fail the other day. What, you left the grub screw out? And I didn't have the the heart to tell you. I thought I would upgrade and service my DTM 3.1. And? And put the metal bell, bell crank base in. Oh. And I uh, tightened up the steering post. And stripped it. <laughs> Potentially snapped it. You mean the one that screws cracked. into the chassis? Yeah, you know that it just cracked. I didn't have the top brace S on. See that? Mm. Slide that onto the 1.5mm driver? Yep. And then all on the parts track. Ooh, I think you over... Yeah, it's all good. I think you over pushed. Yep. It's still on there though. Oh, it's not going anywhere. It's no. probably just going to be a little bit taut. Taut like a toiger. Look at that. So yeah, so bit that, special. So that was a good little story I had for you, but so what have you done to rectify it? the situation? No, no, I had to put a new post in it. Uh. You know the post with the one and a half mil grub screw from the top. Yep. And I thought, ah, oh, rookie error. Rookie. I was, I was just being a bit heavy-handed. Yeah, fair enough. Like you do normally. Um, no, <laughs> generally not. What are you doing there, mate? Well, you've got to make sure the grub screw is not, you know, stopping the putting the driver in. Then what happens? It just locks up. So it's handy to have those little um, holes in the in the uh, holes um, in the tool handle. In in the pliers, the the pliers is such a multifunctional tool. I think that's even in the name. Nine steps. Multifunction. MF, MFTs. Multifunction. So I just pull like that. You can see the hole. Mm -hmm. All on the parts tree. Look at that. You're all on the tree. Can I twist them? Um, you can twist them. Where's the little bag? Yes. Oh, you've got these. I've got those. Did you put... Where's the grub screws? Um... What, what should you do with the grub screws? They go in the whole... The whole bin. Have you lost them already? Um, yes. Is that what you're trying to say? They should be long ones. They're actually longer than... I think you found them just before, didn't nah, you? No, I've got them here, actually. I thought you did, because you did mention it just a little bit before. Yeah. They're hiding over here, so... One... Two... Now, we're just going to do these up a little bit, I assume. Just, just screw them in Get until... Get them seated. Yeah. Screw them in until I'll the thread... No, the until it's out. flush. Until the, the, the hex part, you know, where the driver goes yep. in is flush. Flush. Because they go in deeper than that. But it's a feel thing, isn't it? Oh, this one's a bit crooked. It's gotta be right. Is it? Have you got the screws? Oh, you got the four screws to hold it to the to the bulkheads? I believe so. They're a little, <coughs> like a little M2 screws. And I've got the and I've got the screws that go into the A arms. So it looks like we're sorted. We're under control. See, I told you there was nothing to be scared about, mate. You go, oh, sway bars. I just want to leave them off. I said, no, mate, you can't. Nathan needs them. You are so full of it. It's not about you. You need to Do it wipe, for your son. You need to wipe your chin, mate. <laughs> Why? 
It's, it's dribbling. Ah! Oh. Yeah, it's not the first time. Lovely dinner tonight, by the way. Oh, yeah. Service. Was subway in the subway. This is a bit substandard. Who cut this off the park trip? They obviously didn't use nine steps nippers. No nippers. So, pre assembling the sway bar. All I do is have the sway bar flush with the actual alloy ball end. Uh -huh. That's it. That's that's as easy as it needs to be. That's or as, as hard. Yep, that's exactly right. For you, that would be very complicated. But that's well, okay. it's actually another a tuning tool. Is well, it is because what happens when you move the link in and out on the sway bar? What's well, it do? That sort of um, increases the makes the, the sway tension. bar softer or harder. Yeah. Well, without changing the thickness, I yes. suppose. So which way is which? Well, the closer you move it in towards the centre line, um, the, the stiffer it goes. Yeah, just makes it react firmer. It's kind of like, I suppose, a halfway adjustment or something like that. You know, like instead of going up, like if you're running a, uh, let's say, a 1.1 mil sway bar and you want it to just be that little bit softer, move the links out. If you want it to be a bit firmer, move them in. Yep. And that might be enough to get you... Um, Across the line without having to change all your sway bars. Right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Or just put in And those. it can be handy on a, like a quick adjustment. You can even do it like mid-session. Mid Come down from the driver's stand, move it into a 3 mil, go back out again. Yeah. You've got to watch the angle though. Because sometimes the action of the suspension arm going up and down, that actual link can really get on a funky angle. If it's too short, yeah. So probably should change the length of the links, I suppose, if you're pulling it in too far. So now you sway bars like that, you just square which one's which? Square up the um, so it hangs naturally straight. Ninety degrees? Yeah, what size sway bar you got there? I don't know. Can I have a look? That looks like one point three I wanna say. Can we measure it? That looks like a three. You can't tell. You can't tell? You can't tell. 1.3. That'll so be 1. that'll be 1.1, 1. 1, that one. 1.1. 1. 1. No, 2. See, I told you you couldn't read it. One point two. Are you changing mine now? What? <laughs> You're an animal. <laughs> You're an animal, Mr. Healy. Sway bar in. Inski? Yep, so we're just gonna whack the screws into the sway bar link. What do you like most about sway bars? Um, next question. Yeah. They're a bit of a dark art, you know that. I actually. That you know, like there's so much speed in a car when it comes to tuning with sway bars, but the thing is, it's so interlinked with everything else sway bars, roll center, um, you know, all that stuff. It's just so important that it's all, all linked together. It's more about the balance than any one thing. Well, it's a jigsaw, but is it anything less than a high grip track? I would definitely tend to take the rear one off. Yeah, look, we 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 As take a start, it, and yeah. that's because I'm usually looking, especially on off-road, for the maximum amount of traction from the rear of the car. Yeah, we um, definitely take take the sway bar on and off. Um, because it's but a quick I tend, adjustment as well. I tend to take the front off. Do you? Yeah, leave the rear on. Taking the front off doesn't make the car too angry, or not so much. Well. This one doesn't want to line up for me. Doesn't there we it? go. Got it. It's just the screw was catching on the ball. Oh, I hate that. Yeah, it's That's, good. You know this one time. Mm. Huh? Yeah, just we, this, We've all been there. Just once. Just the ball got in the way. Oh. <clears throat> Where's the one and a half mil? Here. Have I got more? I don't know. Have you? No. no. I was going to say I could jump in here and um, get these brackets on. Well, just give me a moment to wreck this. 
Did you put it in straight or not? Well, you didn't have the ball lined up for me. This one time I did. Did not. Well. God, your hard work. I'm excited in the, um, to try these new carbon arms out. Really? Yep. What do you think? Um, I think in anything less than hot conditions, I'll probably just shear off. No. I've used carbon arms before. In winter. Have you? Yeah. Because I've been too lazy to put the others back on. I've gone, nah, so she'll be right. have they had carbon arms before, have they? You could get graphite. Yep. Like the YZ2 series, you could get graphite. I've still got some flat graphites. Yep. You know, like the um, front arm flat. Yep. Yeah, so I've still got some graphites. Because they've just released them for these now. Yeah, so the f firmer arm actually gives you a better response. Like, it makes it a little bit more feel, like instant response. Which is not what this car is actually lacking, I would say. No. One thing we will be trying, okay, is the brace. Um, I don't know, what's, what's the brace? They have a brace that goes from here to here or something, don't they? Oh, do they? I haven't seen that yet. I believe so. I think it's an option part. Yep. Um, that'll calm the car down lots. It'll take a bit of the bite out of the front end. Yeah, know? it'll just take <clears> that, <throat> that kind of... Might make it better in the high speed sections. Could. Every section's a high speed section with you behind me. No, not me, mate. The young fella was giving me <coughs> giving me curry on the weekend. Was he? Yep, he was on fire. He just um He just didn't do any maintenance on his car. That's the only reason so I So you deliberate you set him up to fail? No. He done his two wheel drive on Saturday. Yeah. But he didn't he didn't get a chance to do his four wheel drive. His two wheel drive, he caught me really quick. Um, but then it all fell apart. No, he had an alteration at the back corner where he decided to drive through me. Oh, really? Yep. Did you sook? No. I would have. I just called him a nufty. I would have sooked profusely. Now, these are not going to rattle loose, are they? No. No Loctite on these. No Loctite? Because you're screwing into the plastic. The plastic will actually... What do you mean? It's going into metal. Yeah, but the head seat's on plastic. Oh. Got it? Not metal, plastic. You've got a bit of a tone about you tonight, mate. Yep. I just can't I'm, put I'm my just, finger on it. Oh, well, it's, it's got something to do with the, the off-camera um, discussion earlier. Was it? Yeah. Just the amount of abuse I got. <laughs> <laughs> I was, what was it in relation to? Oh, oh. I don't know. I can't remember now. What's in relation to There's no relation, no. it's just abuse. It's just abuse. <laughs> it's an abusive relationship, you know, like. No? Mm hmm. Clearly. <laughs> How are we going there? You got it on yet? I've stripped What's this taking one. so long? I've threaded this one. Oh, that's tight. Have you snapped screws in here before? You Into know, the new bulkhead? No, I haven't, and you won't. <laughs> I'll run. <laughs> no? <laughs> you snapped that. I'll snap the driver off on you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I didn't, but I can imagine some people with... You've really just got to feel your way. If something doesn't feel right... Now, would you like to adjust the, the backlash on the sway bar? Would I like to? Yes. You know what you're doing here, don't you? No, not at all. I think he is. So what, you'd, you'd screw the grub screw in until the sway bar goes tight, and it's not actually rattling or loose. You've got yep. to go in more than that. Till it, till it stops. You just go in until it seats like it's a bit firm. Yep. That one's loose. And that one's tight. God, this guy. And they're just right. I didn't even move them. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even move them. Yeah, whatever. Oh, uh, you just like the sound of your voice. I you just it. said that. That's right. Is it good? It's just right. And this is something that you will have to adjust as the car wears and builds. So, and well, that's correct. Yeah, I mean, obviously, obviously, if you've just built your car, you go to the track, smash a couple of battery packs through it. You do need to stop and go over the whole car because things are going to come loose. That's if I can get a couple of batteries out of my car without tearing a corner off of it. 
<laughs> no. Somebody put a five and a half in it. Who would have done that? And said, here you go, sucker. No? Who did that? No idea. Yeah. Five and a half turn. Mate. No, that's all right. I can... You should be Luckily, running... I drive you should slow. Be, you should be running a 25 and a half turn. A 21 and a half might be too much. All right, so... Guess turn what? buckles. You're buckled. Oh. Let's turn. How right. good and how good and meaty? Can I use that? Can mm. I use the word meaty? Meaty bites. Meaty turnbuckle. Yes, one. Can I have one? Yep. Oh, that is meaty. They are pretty um. Pretty impressive, huh? Yep. They're titanium. Yep. And these are an option part, aren't they? Or these are kit ones? No, they're three and a half mils. What? Three and a half mil. Yeah. Well, how am I going to get these threaded? I don't know. Just like smash them on with an axe or something. It's going to hurt my poor little pinky. Yeah, well, boo-hoo. While Brett's having dramas with his little pinky, <clears throat> do you know which one you're putting on where? There are different lengths. Is there? Yeah. And because these aren't the Yokomo ones, they're going to be slightly different in length because we run three and a half mils. Three and a half mil one up brand turnbuckles. Yes. And they are half a mil oversized compared to that of the standard turnbuckles. Correct. Which is only half a mil under what they put in the eight scale cars. Correct. So there's a good chance that you're just going to shear the, <laughs> shear the ball ends off before you break. I would rather just tear the ball ends apart. Really? Than break the turnbuckle. Because let's be honest, turnbuckles are not cheap. To buy quality turnbuckles. And the rigmarole of having them yep. ready to go. You know, but how good are the plastics? Well, so we didn't even have to drill the Yokomo plastics. But the plastics don't break, do they? You can, this, the, the ball end's going to shear off before you break the plastic, isn't it? Correct. So the reason we run these is because we have broken a few Yokomo ones. Well, <clears throat> okay, so we had to look at something a little bit stronger because the kit ones are steel, steel, that's right, yeah. and steel is better than I think than the aftermarket titanium ones because they generally, yes, they're a little bit heavier, but yes, they will bend before they just break. And titanium will is a bit more brittle and will tend to just the quality snap. of the titanium will represent whether it bends or snaps instantly, yeah, if it's if it's more. Um, if it's got a lot more impurities in the titanium, it could probably bend. Yeah, but it shouldn't. It should just snap. If it if it's really high quality titanium, it will just go dink and, and it'll be broken. But this one here, you're not giving it much chance because you've gone up in diameter half a mil. So we're gonna be we're gonna be snapping the plastic ball ends. <laughs> no, you're gonna be shearing the. You're gonna be ripping it clean out of the caster hub. No, no, no. no you, we'll snap the ball ends because that's what we've done before. Really? Yep. And then we just unscrew that and, and put a new one on. It's um yeah. It's, it's not rocket science. No, it's not rocket science. Can you give me something to assemble? Are they all the same ends? N no, there's different lengths. So what length turnbuckle is that one? Um, this length. Can I have that, please? Do you want me to measure it? So that's the shorter one. So what what have we got? So we've got the 52s will be the rears. 48s will be the top front camber link, I believe. Yep. Up the top there. Yep. So top it'll be 52s front and rear. Because one up don't actually make a Yokomo set, we buy the TLR set because it's the closest. Really? Yes. I can't believe they don't make one. No, no, they don't. Well, they have to just relabel it. Well, yeah, I don't know um, whether they have or have not, but I haven't seen it, okay? These ones use um, offset balls, yeah? For the steering. You notice the inner part? Mm -hmm. So that's like an arrow. Yeah, so you can tell which way is shorter and longer. Yeah, so I, I, you know, we have ours pointing forwards, just FYI, okay? Pointing forwards. Yes. And that makes it shorter when you go forward? No, it makes it pointing forward. 
Yes, but all right. So I know what's going on. Yeah. Look at that. <clears throat> now we don't have a three mil turnbuckle wrench, do we? I left it at home. I was supposed to have brought it, but that one won't go on. It's too tight. Tight like a tiger. It's tight. It's very tight. We can. I can. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you give me a second, I can probably go find one. There's nothing up my sleeve. Let me have a look. No worries. You have a look. All right. Loose unit. Yokama also supply this little plastic part in for the turnbuckle. I mean the um, plastic ball ends on the on the tree. That's actually goes in the seven mil driver. And I'll just tighten this up. It goes in the end of the seven mil driver, like that. It's like a little add-on, and you just put it on the, and then you put your ball cup on, like that. Makes it very easy, <clears throat> rather than using your fingers. Just clamp the um, turnbuckle with your pliers, like your shock shaft pliers. And uh, yeah, it's all good. I think he's got lost. <clears throat> well, there's a cup on the back. All we got to do there is just adjust them up with the um, right amount of uh, camber. And um, yeah. So we'll continue on with the front ones. I'm actually going to chuck a little bit of grease on these ones because being the, the largest size they're a little bit... Did you get lost with Nan? Or, or, or did she fall over? Don't know who you're talking about. You don't want to go there. Or did you have to make a cup right. of tea? Dinner's burnt. What? There's a very good reason that three mil probably doesn't fit. It's not good. It's not a good three mil. Um, I'd be like an imperial three mil. They say it's three mil, but I, I actually, is that an arrow? Is that an arrow max one? Mm. I actually had to fire mine out about point one. So don't worry about it. I'll set it up with mine. Because that is just. Shearing off. Yeah, it's too tight. Tight like a toiger. So you can see how it's not going to move when you put it together, like when you set it up. Oh, you've got the grease over there. Yeah, I'm, I'm put a bit of grease in the thread. I told you that before. On Fred? Yeah, you won't listen to me, are you? Um, I tried. It's lawn. What are you doing? Well, it's not for the steering. Because it needs to be offset, doesn't it, for the steering wheel? How come it's so long, mate? I don't know. This one time. The steering one's offset, isn't it? Yeah. The front one is. So the front end, 25.5 mil. They're the short ones. These three are the short ones. So what you're saying. I'm doing I've got the two here for the camber link the top camber link so you'll be able to do the steering see so this one here, here this one leave that for the servo okay servo you know Would that be for steering steering here to the servo oh. nee, 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 nee. all right so I've got two short ones here for the camber links is that what you're saying <clears throat> no and you're for doing... the steering links you want me to do the steering links? yeah you do the steering links okay? that's longer no it's shorter you need shorter ones for that. This is hard work. Toy like a toy gun. This is just hard work. How hard is it? How much do you like it? 
What do I need? 25.5 mil. Twenty. Oh, and there's going to be blue grease everywhere. I thought we were only playing with white grease today. No. 25.5. I'm on the money. I've always said that about but, you. But because we have an option tower, it's going to need to be shorter. Shorter? Yeah, shorter. How much shorter? Well, we'll work that out later. Okay, when we need Fearsome. to... When we need to set the... Um, I want to get Simsy to make me up some setup wheels. Really? Yeah. Well, you better speak to him. Now that he's stopped riding, I won't be able to. Yeah, well, <laughs> I was talking to him today. 1,700 kilometres or something ridiculous. Yeah, well, <laughs> I said to him, when are you going to commit? <laughs> <laughs> he does like a good old bike ride, doesn't he? Look at that. What are you trying to say? That was really easy, but you just made it complicated. You complicate my life. What do you do? You need that to be 17.5. 17.5 hecapastels? Something like that. It's not even close. No, you're not even close, 22, mate. 22, mate. 22? 22. Oh, I'm looking at the steering link one. I'm not sure what you're looking at, but it's probably wrong. Toy like a toyga. Rude. That's all I've got to say, rude. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, my sorry. Poor, my poor little pinky. Sorry. Poor little pinky's had an absolute thrashing, and you here you are holding all the ghoul stuff. Oh, just take... How easy is that? Well, it wasn't my fault you were making it hard. It's not as if, you know, like I... <clears throat> Do you get it? Is it in? You get it? Is it in? So when these um these actually reverse thread on one side did you know on a ten thread? You're a challenge, aren't you? Challenging? Yeah, that too. Turnbuckles are just about done. Wow. And they won't break. What'll happen It's gonna break my will. <laughs> what'll break my spirit. What'll happen is you'll break the ball cup. You'll shear the caster hub off. You'll, you'll just, break the shock tower, break you, the bulkhead. You'll tear the whole front end off your car, but, the can, <laughs> but your turnbuckle will be fine. There'll be nothing wrong with your turnbuckle. And it'll still look just as good after you repair it as before. Okay, yeah, good turnbuckle. <laughs> <laughs> They're not the most enthralling thing to watch, are they? Nah, it's, it's a bit like... I say we even like edit this bit out. You the reckon? Ma the magic of Hollywood. What oh, tell you what, I'm not bad. I'm not bad at what I do. I just haven't figured out what it is you do. Not much. Not bad. Okay. No. So far, so good. <laughs> Okay? No. So far, so good. How the hell did you get that one wound up so tight? Hmm? What? You had that one wound up all the way. That's because I did it. Look yeah, at that. Might have a bit of toe in, mate. We've got a floppy one. Flopper? We're just waiting for, for Brett to catch up. He's just dragging the chain a little bit. Nothing unusual here. Nothing to see here, people. Why don't you use those pliers? Use th that part there. That part right there. I didn't want clamp, to... Clamp the stem of the... I didn't want to score it before um, we do shop shots. Come on. What you doing, Slabber? Just come on. Oh, you want me to do it? Did you get it? Have we got a servo to put in the beast yet? No. I left that sitting at home too. Did you get the right distance? 22 mil? Yep. You sure? 
I don't think you know how to read a set of verniers at all. That looks like 32 mil to me. Could, could we just... have that? We'll just... Um, We just face a few challenges here. <laughs> um, challenge number one is Brett. What's that? You're the challenge number one. You know what? All this workplace bullying is just not working out for me. I'm just a shell of a man that I used to oh, be. You've got grease all over the pliers now. I told you not to use the blue grease. Nan, that's what Nan uses in her hair. <laughs> to get the rinse. You know that, don't you? Yeah. Huh? Marge, you're soaking in it. Um, these ones were actually bottoming out. Really? I don't see how. Look what I've done. Same same turnbuckles. Yeah? Yeah. You just... I think you don't know what you're doing. Well, that's more likely the point. But, you know what? It's all about the entertainment. And you entertain me boundlessly. No, 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 no. So you can really wind it that hard. Just keep cranking on it. Till the thread's gone. Fred? See the thread, Fred? Fred? When Fred's gone, do the other side. Look at the thread you got left here. No, I know that, but it was horribly tight. Horribly. You know how you said 22 mil? Look at that. 28. 22 mil is where the thread finishes. Yeah. So you know where yeah. to screw it up to. I know where to screw it up. Couple to. of days, people. Couple of days. Bananas. Mm, that too. What do you like most about bananas? Throwing them at you. Poo chucker. No, I just didn't have the confidence to just shear it off. Sure, sure, sure. There you go, square. Do you know which side you've got to put it on? Put it on? Yeah. Do you know which side the link goes on? Yes. I don't think you do. Why? I just don't think you do. I think I do. No. Why not? What are you trying to say? I'm not trying to say it, mate. Just say it. You're just, an idiot. Just... <laughs> <laughs> just say it <coughs> oh no now I'm going to choke I need to undo this one half a turn why what did you do to it because I can't I can't do it by hand I don't want to maul it don't snap the steering oh don't don't snap me steering Shush. Shush you. Oh, look at that. You've wrecked it again. <laughs> You've got this thing about just putting balls in too far. Oh. Okay? Just smash them in. All the way. Just a bit. Just, a just little, smash it in. Don't little, even hold back. A little bit of finesse, mate. It'll go a long way. How's the toe looking? Let's get all this crap out of the way. Like toe here than a Roman sandal. Get rid of those verniers that you can't read. If you can't read them, we I don't can need read them. them. I was just trying to. Oh, look the at fact. the toe! Look at the toe out now, you lunatic! You said twenty-two mil. Twenty-two. I think we're finding that would be perfect in the setup station. Does it say twenty-two? Yeah. Yeah. But that's what that is. Twenty-two mil. I think you've done something wrong. What have you done? Probably because you've got it in the far back hole. Oh, well, golly, that could be had something to do with it, eh? Could be, I'm not Let's sure. just move on. Oh, Heal, hot, bounces. Hot tip to the Healy. Bounces. If you can't get it to work, just move on to the next step. Time to do Healy hoppers. Okay. What have we got here? What have we Grease got going on everywhere. here? Grease everywhere. What have we got going on here? Let's move the car, just so we've got a little bit more um, working space here. I was going to put a bib on. You're going to need it. <laughs> I'm glad we can edit some of this. 
<laughs> yeah, you won't be sitting there by the time I'm done with it. <laughs> no edit you out. Oh, are these goldies? Goldies. How cool do they look? Just getting the... Uh... And do you know what about these new generation goldies? What about them? What about they them? They last forever. The golden oldies. They used to, um, you know, be, be done in three meetings and then all the gold would be off. These mm. Yokomo ones, they are phenomenal, no? These will last as long as the car, unless you bend them in. Oh, look at this. I've got more parts than I need. These, oh. these are my O-rings. What else have we got here? You won't be needing these O-rings. What? You're not touching them, mate. Why? You're not having them. <laughs> You're not taking my O-rings because that's like... O-rings are a precious resource, mate. Now you need them for the other two shocks. I thought we had enough there. No, I've got enough here for one pair of shocks. Have they changed the anodizing on these bodies? Oh, these ones, these ones are like, you know. Not sure. Found them on the side of the road. Nah, these ones are hard coated ones, aren't they? These ones let's are my not, spec. Let's not bugger around. These, ones these are, are Yokomo ones that have been replated. <clears throat> so I, I sent them away and get them hard coated because well, that's what you like to do because you're a lunatic I like things to be the way I want them yeah I did it my way oh no broken into song you do want that we're missing we're missing an o-ring nope have you taken one no I had one packet you have one you've got, job you've got four you've no see you've got you've one job and you've... Well, hang on, there's plenty. There's O-rings everywhere. How many do you want? <clears throat> I've got four big ones. I'm and, sure you have. And two little ones. You've got four big ones? I oh, know, the two biggest. The two biggest ones? Yeah, I need them, please. Only because you asked nicely. They go inside the adjuster. Do you want me to leave it up? No. Why would you want to do that? Why would you want to lube up the adjuster so, so it attracts it. dirt and dust and crap and then it won't turn on? It must be friends of yours if it won't turn on. That's exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> <clears throat> By the way, mm -hmm. do you know what you're doing? No. I'm just putting the O-ring into here. That one's already got an O-ring in it. Oh my. Mine's tigers and bears. Really? Now with these I like to unwind them a little bit until you hear like a click. That's correct. Otherwise... You cross thread them. You can cross thread them very easily. Yeah, and if you wear my my anodizing off, I'll be unhappy. <laughs> okay, Jan? Uh-oh. I was going to get the file out, but... Not I don't, happy, Jan. I don't know that you've... Um, so, you took my... You <clears throat> took my heart. That one's got an O-ring in it. That one doesn't. Yeah, did you put it in? I can. Is that the O-ring? Give me a look. No. What'd you do with the O-ring? I didn't have the O-ring, mate. Must be this one I'm putting on here. <laughs> <laughs> this one's got no O-ring in it. No, because there's, there's two extras. Oh, you are special. Okay. So what part of can't... You know, like, you understand. There's only four shocks. We only need four collars. <laughs> Because we had six, that you don't need those ones. All right, don't need to go on about it. Jeez, <laughs> oh, I'll put the little O-ring on here. Yes, little one on the bottom. Do you want to do the front ones or the back ones? Or we just <clears throat> do we have a shock stand? We need a shock stand. Did you bring a shock stand? I've always got a shock stand for you. Put you on the perch, don't worry. <clears throat> and these ones go on the top to seal the cap off. Oh, oh. This is hard work. What's so hard about it? You. Yeah. Why is there an extra O-ring? Because there's some spares. Some spares. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had the packet open to send the shocks off. Okay. They look cool. They're actually a different colour. I wish no. I had some standard ones too. 
They're like a cool. Go color. grab a brand new packet. Oh. We don't. Uh, we don't have to actually. I actually need to take a set of rears. Rears. Yes. So if you get some rear ones, we can unpackage one of them and we can show them, and and then I won't pay for it. <clears throat> All right. So shock body. We put the bottom bottom o-ring on. We put the top o-ring on. We put the o-ring in the adjuster. Screw them on a little bit further. Seals. One X-ring. Then the, the, the bush, followed by the next X-ring. Then you've got the little cap. The cap goes on with the, the little step upwards, so it locates into the cap that you screw on there to hold it all in. The O-ring cap, they call it. When I put these on brand new, I do not screw that all the way down. I when don't. Two-wheel drive ones fell to hand. Hey. When did the two-wheel drive ones fell to hand? No four-wheel four drive. Four-wheel drive rears. Two-wheel drive rears. I want four-wheel drive rears. Because they're, they're there's S for S and S for L and S for M. Yeah, L, L, for long. Yeah, they, they didn't fall to hand. Well, anyway. But we're just going to show the colour. Yeah. So you quite rudely interrupted me. You were talking with your gibberish. Jibber jobber. <laughs> Don't get me all jibber jobber. Look, that's it. I've had enough of this. So with this cap, Ooh. I've put the O-rings in, I've put the bush in, and then the, the top bush. When I put this cap on, being it's all new, mm. I do not clamp it all the way down tight. You don't want to preload those O-rings before you jam the thread through? No, so what I'll do is I'll put some oil in there, let the oil bleed through. Really? Yep. Then I'll put the shaft in, then screw it up. Okay. If that's what you say, Chief. That's what I say. And what you say goes. No. No, it's just what I do. So. By the way, I have tested these shocks on my car. And? And I've stripped them and they were mint inside. So what you're saying is? The anodizing is extremely high quality and it worked a treat. That's so what I'm saying. We've got an O-ring, we've got a bush. Oh, do you need some parts? Well, potentially. How about these ones here I prepared earlier? That's got an O-ring. Now, we had an incident with a t drive that was missing an O-ring at some stage, didn't we? <clears throat> I can only put that down to, to you, of course. To me? Mm. What did I do? Well... I'm going to put it together up. Can I have the guide? Then I'm going to put another O ring. Is that right? Yep. Another O ring in here. Can I have this O ring up here? Get it out of the way so it doesn't get in the way. Get these out of the way so they. <clears throat> have to put a little bit of grease on the body there. Just clear up all this stuff. A little bit of grease on the body, unwind it, seat it on. Grease? Did you grease up the body? No. Did you want me to? You love greasing things up, don't you? I actually like to keep all oil out of the cartridge. Because I'm a, a bit of a believer. I'm a believer. I'm a believer in that. The shock oil is actually no good for the O-rings whatsoever. It causes them to swell. It does, but guess what? You can't stop it. No, but I don't go introducing oil into the cartridge. That's all I'm saying. Oh, don't you? Well, only with the up and down movement from the shaft. Right. I don't go right. pouring it through the cartridge and, and assembly. But hey, if that's you. No, no, no. We'll go. We'll do. We'll do Brett's way. Just so he's all warm and fuzzy. No, these are your boingers, mate. I don't want to hear about it. No. We, lock tight. Lock tight the pistons. Why? I don't have them come off. Alright. Because I, to I talk them down with the three quarter impact gun. Alright. <laughs> I don't want Nathan carrying the car back to me with that. I'll just say when he comes back, there's, there's a pair of caps for you. Oh. 
I'll just say, it wasn't me, mate. Uh, Brett built them. That's all right. I've got the video footage so to prove did, it. <laughs> the right rear, that was it. That definitely his one. The one that fell apart was the one Brett built. Now, these these threads here... Hey, where's my pistons? Pistons? You've got them... In no, the, no, there, was, there should have been packets. There should have been a packet of new ones, was there? Because... I'm saying new. Because... Because... Notice what's written on the top of the piston. 2mm, 1.7. I had a pair of 2mm by 1.6. And you've lost them already. There's a very good chance I did that. Brett very, very conveniently packed everything up for me. What are you looking for, mate? The pistons for the shocks. I don't like these screws. You don't? No. There's some gears. Gears? I need them. He's packed an empty bag for me. Pack your bags, mate. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to. More gears. If Chappelle's anything to go by, mate, you've got to pack your own bags. Yeah, no, I've got a surfboard bag. <laughs> and it's, it's locked and loaded. What is it goes with these one and a half? What do you mean? Oh what have you done with my pistons? Did you take them for your car? Um, you did too, didn't you? I don't want to say anything. God, you're an imbecile. No, dirty rat. <laughs> dirty rat. Oh, yo. You dirty rat, you. <laughs> oh, you say it so lovingly. Oh, there's my shock parts. I need them. Yep. We need those. I need those bushes. And guess what? You've lost them. <clears throat> Somebody's going to have to rebuild. So I will have to rebuild this. Because the standard pistons... Are 2.2. And 2.2s are dirt pistons. And you want to go for more of a carpet setup. I run the car. carpet pistons. Pistion. Okay. Well, 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 I should refrain from that. We, as in... Nathan and myself in our four wheel drives run the carpet pistons, okay? Right. And you put travel limiters in here? Yep, should be what have you got? One mil? Yep. Yep. I'm not measuring it, I'm just saying yep. 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 Are you going to put that in the cap or uh, not? No, I'm just actually threading it. I don't like it. What do you mean? I was getting the... Put it in the tip. plastic. I did. And then just snap it off. Not when I bleed it. Now, I don't like to do it when it's full of oil and stuff. I just like to pre-do it. But they actually the... You know. you know why I do it like this? Once again. So, you know. so I don't lose them. Now, what's happening with these shock shafts? You've got to put pistons on them. Um, right. I feel that we've had this conversation. Yes, we have had this conversation. And, so where are they? <laughs> and the conversation ended because I can't find the pistons. Yes, do I need to go and get no, pistons? No, there's none on the wall. Because I took the last pair off the wall and clearly you've stolen them. I've been looking for that everywhere. How did that end up there? It's my bumper bar. <laughs> I was hiding it. OMG. I was hiding it. There's another four-wheel drive that needs a bumper bar. So the black piston... Piston... Is the not, front piston. Is not marked. No, they're not. The kit ones are not marked. So what is it? It's two hole, 1.6, 2.2 mil wide. So stick doesn't them on. Doesn't it come with two sets? Doesn't it come with a carpet set up as well? No. Just springs. Just springs. It doesn't come with the pistons. Oh, yeah. So jam them in. Oh. Um, where's the shock pliers? Yeah. In your tool bag. I don't want to go scoring up your new shock shafts. You won't talk to me. Never again. Ever. Hey? Ever. No choice. I'm going to shear the screw did you, off. Did you lube up them? Mm -hmm. Did you? Mm -hmm. What am I lubing? Did you lube up the um, O-rings? Mm -hmm. on, the, on the rear bodies? Mm -hmm. You did? Yeah, of course. You sure? I loaded the whole cartridge, mate. But they're the ones I put together. Oh, yeah, no, I didn't. 
no, 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 no. No, no the ones I... No, yeah, no, 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 no. All the ones that I finished, I... No, no, mate, no, mate. No, no. It's, give us your bib. Yeah. I'm leaving you to do this because... What? I don't trust it at all. What don't you trust? Silky smooth like the Zohan. Silky, scrappy silky, scrappy. Scrappy do. Scrappy cocoa. Scrappy cocoa, yeah. Yeah. What did you do? What did I do? The front one? That's the rear one. Yeah, all right, well you can clock the front ones. Does the front one have travel limiters? Down stops? In stops, out stops, someone stops. Talk these pistons, please. So the rear shocks. Shock down. You get the shocks, the rear shocks. Actually, before you do that, can oh. you zoom in, please? I will definitely zoom in. Can we read that? Do you like that noise? Yeah, it's very... You um, can read that. 1.7, 2.0. Okay, so 1.7, two hole, representing 2.0 is the thickness of the actual piston, the actual, the actual thickness of the piston. So that's what we run in the back. Back, back. And we have one mil limiter inside, which you will find is kit. Okay? You Because they don't do drip screws. You're you alright with that scrappy cocoa? I am alright with that. You've got to talk these. Talk, do you want, do you want me to them. start? Um, talk to them. So we're going to put 32 in the rear. Is that where we're at? Yep, Do but, put ends but on? we're going to put ends on them first. All right, all right, all right. And we need the verniers. Vernier. So 23 millimetres, please. 23. 23. Jeez, talk, talk about loaded, all right. Mate. Come There's more the, grease in there than should, there was hobbits in the Lord of the Rings. Should I told you it should come out like that. Nice. So I like it. <clears throat> Alright, so Did you, you pre-tension these ones already? It's done. So you see the front uses the long The, the long ends? Yeah, so can we zoom in again please? Yes of course. So the kit ones is this one here with the, the like the little ID ring down the bottom? That's yep. the long one. Is that? No, I don't use them. No. No. So the next length down is that one. Come in the camera. Line. Yep. The next length down, that one there. Yep. Next to the, they're the ones we use on the front. Otherwise, you got too much. Because remember, our tower is different. Yes. Okay, so we can't run the long, long ones. And on the rear, shorts. We run the short, short, shorty shorts. Shorty shorts. Okay, so I'll smack them on. Francis! 23 mil shock shaft length on the front. 23? 23. 23. With the long longs. Who's got the long longs? Long prongs. Is that like a scrappy cocoa? Long prong. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. There you go. I wouldn't expect anything less from you. Was that a, was that front or rear? That my friend is a which, long one. Which one did you take? I took a long one. Yeah. Short ones go in the back. Short ones on the back. Okay. It doesn't make sense, but that's what we do. Yep. It just doesn't sound right. <clears throat> Stops it pitching too hard. Pitching? Yeah. What do you mean pitching? Well, the back of the car jacking and lifting. When you're on the brakes hard and coming in the corner and swinging around violently on you, wouldn't you just put more down stops in? Uh, I like, I'm, a, I'm a droop screw kind of guy. I'll well, you're an, you're an eight scale bogan. I mean um, racer. Sorry. Even on road cars, mate. We use we use sunscreen, moisturiser, and droop screws. SPF fifty on your tyres. Why not? Day with the days. <clears throat> on the foamies. On the foamies, mate. That's it. Twenty. Does that look like twenty-eight point five to you, mate? I reckon it's pretty spot on. Twenty-eight. Just about. 
I'm just going to give it. You're going to tweak it because you just want to have the last tweak, don't you? No. I just want it to be right. I don't want you getting home. No, no, it's 28.7. I told you 28.5. And I'll say, sorry, Dad. No, Nan. I should apologise okay. to Nan because she'll be They're the one be all... She'll be the one all bitter and twisted over That'll it. That'll be cut off. I will not get be no golden syrup dumplings. There'll be no scones with your tea. That's right. No golden syrup dumplings will be turned off. Have you had them lately? What? The dumplings, golden syrup dumplings. You know I don't eat that stuff. That's right. Okay. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> that upsets your bacteria. <laughs> Jeez. Poor little gluten. You know, there's a lot of things I'm intolerant with, but I'll tell you the, <laughs> I'm big, getting there. the biggest thing that I've got the most intolerance for <laughs> is sitting right next to me. <laughs> Did you the shits? <laughs> is that what you're saying? I didn't say that, I just said ah. intolerance. Can you oil up? I'm getting the see through stand. We can put the fronts over here so we don't get confused. Put the rears over here so we don't get confused. Now you want to lift these up a little. Oh, oh that it's alive! Good. That was a good one. That was a good one. That was that was fully. Thirty-two point five shock oil in the rear. Is that what we? Is that what we're that's, doing? That's where, that's what we run. All right. So, and the secret to doing these shocks is to make sure the piston's not resting on the bottom. Because of the air. Is to fill it up and then try and get it through in one big bubble. You have don't, I, you don't have go, I explained that to you before? Yeah, you go up once and then down once and wait for the big bubble to come out. Don't keep pumping it because your air rate and it takes heaps longer. But they're emulsion shocks anyway, so guess what? What? Guess what? What? They're going to have air in them anyway. What? So it makes no difference. They're emulsion. What is the definition of emulsion? Aeration. The aeration, so you've got air particles or, or small air um, droplets in the oil. You cannot stop it happening. That's right. It's basically contaminated oil. Yes. It, it's, it's actually an inferior dampening system. What would you like to see happen? If, if you could seal the cartridge. Have a piggyback. Right. Nitrogen piggyback. And have valves, it would be awesome. But you, the, 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 the general basics of an RC shock is so, um, it's so flawed because you cannot control um, your attitude. That too. You cannot control the consistency of dampening um, in the shock. So that's why they require so much actual work. And it does definitely make the difference between well, it's, it's an okay difference. car and a good car, isn't it? Well, the shocks, you know, like you can have the best tyres on the car, but if the shocks aren't doing the job, you've still got no grip. No grip, too much lip. And you can't land the jumps properly. I've noticed that about you. And you don't have the traction in the corners. You know, like when you're coming in under brakes and stuff. Brakes? No, you're, going, you're doing it wrong, mate. Am I? Is that what I've, is that what's wrong with the whole lot? Yeah. So we'll let them sit for a, a little bit. Hello. Because you see the little, little dots, the little dots. If you can zoom in on that, if the camera will pick that up and show. If you don't know, we got a bit of XTR oil going in there. Yep. Forty-two point five front. Thirty-two point five rear. So, apart from the. Um, the actual thickness of the oil, but you're going to have the balance front to rear, I suppose, as well. Yeah, look, it's sometimes it's hard to get that balance well, right. That's can we get this right in there? This is as zoomed as we're going to get, mate. Hang on, let's get this out of the way. We are on macro. Oh, we've lost it, haven't we? Here we go. We're on. Ready? Hang on, I'll just get rid of these. All right, go. Oh. Stay there. Stay there. I know where we are. <laughs> are we there yet? Oh, this is tragic. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Now I'm going to try and get some... Uh, can you... Um, try and get can some... Can you focus on that? And I'm going to wiggle. See if we can show... But it's not... 
it's pretty hard to see but you can see those funny little dots that's air bubbles that's air bubbles coming up yep and because of the viscosity of the oil that will take a you know can take anywhere between five and ten minutes really i like to shove it out and just bleed it out right yeah just mix some let's mix some um wheel bearing grease in there that'll fix it up wheel bearing grease yep add it add half weight now when, when you have a new brand new shock okay your brand new shock do you pre-oil them too no oh. i actually put a dome of oil on the shock oh. because the cap volume in the cap if your oil's level with the top of the shock it doesn't have enough oil to fill the the cap when it's and you're not actually bleeding it no and you'll end up with a massive air bubble in the shock okay and then what happens then is the car will be really inconsistent so see how i get the mushroom head on the oil because what i like to do is actually put a few drops in the cap yeah but look at that oil's awesome stuff it will not um the rear shocks you don't need as much because you've got a longer stroke which more oil volume gets pushed out where's the 1.5 go on brett 1.5 re yeah the, the 1.5 now what i like to bleed my shocks with with the, what um the spring the, the spring collars on the bottom yeah you put the collar on because then you, you're bleeding the right amount of stroke so but there is three different ones on the parts tree so we're those, using those ones these ones without any dots all four of them is that what you're saying? Give me a look, sorry. Yes. So we've got yep. two dots. Yep. yep. Four dots and no dots. Yep. So we're going to go with the with the. Um, and what does that represent? The height, the offset. So that lets us get the correct preload on the spring. Have we got any of that um, paper towel? Where's the hiding? Paper towel. Yeah. Yeah. So we can bleed these. Oh, I've got plenty of paper towel. Yep. How about you get the paper towel, Brett? You just want to get rid of me. Exactly. No! Stop being brutal. She's forward the kettle dry again. <laughs> well, she's uh, probably trying to cook the rats. She's forward the kettle dry again, mate. Yeah. How you going? You're not cross. You haven't cross threaded it, have you? No, not yet. I tried. What I like about this over grease, it's really good in the massage. Is it? Yeah. Do you use it? Awesome. A bit like a wax on, wax off? That or ear wax. So what was Brett was referring to, I'm going to just put my finger over the hole. So we put the cap on the shock shaft. Yes. Like that to bleed it. Because when you push the shock, it, it's going to push oil out the hole and you'll be bleeding the actual stroke, the, the, the shock stroke shaft amount that you're using. Not excess, so if you were, if you were to leave it off and you bleed it then... Over bleed it. You, and then you, you, you'll have a suction which will try and suck in more air. Yeah, you're bleeding it to the stroke that you're actually using it. Yeah. So, let's go. Oh, look at that. Did you get a nice little bit up? Yep. Just perfect amount popped out. I'm trying to try and get it on camera, which is we'll do the easy. next one. We'll do the next one. Okay. Which is easier said than done. And you got to hold preload it to make sure the shaft doesn't come out. You'll then also introduce air. Yep. <clears throat> and I find that I, I and often soon have as, to do it as like, soon as that screw stops, that's you, it. Don't, you don't you turn don't, it anymore. No. There you go, Brett. How many people? Is that, is that silky smooth? Oh, it's sensual. You know what I mean? Like it's... The anodizing is really high quality. The hard anodizing that I've had done. So. And the gold shock shot. New new shocks, they just yep. always... All right, let's... let's yeah. let's um, Try and get on camera. Uh, is that what we're going to do? So we need to put the... We pop the shock cap on. Yeah. Got a little bit of tissue there, mate. Yep. Looks like you're so, really good with that tissue. Yep, got a little bit of tissue, need a bit of tissue. So just watch, you can see as I push the shock shaft up, you'll see the oil just start to come out. And that's it. That's it? Yep, wipe it off. 
wipe off the mess like Brett makes all the time. No wonder Nan gets frustrated with you having to clean I've up your just, mess. I've only just started putting slippers on. Mm. So what you're saying is we put the body on. <laughs> oh, we put the screw in a little bit. These screws that they supply are really tight tolerance on the 1.5. Really? Aren't yeah. they? Yeah. They, you know, like, I think they must do it so when you wear them out there, they fit properly. I have noticed that before, yeah, the, the tooling for this is like, it nearly goes past to say it's over exuberant. Yeah, so like it's extremely, extremely close to, you can't actually get the driver in, so you've got to be really square with the driver. Uh, do you know the other thing I like to do is always make sure that that hole is the highest point, point on the shot mm -hmm. that's when you're leading it. That's why it's at the top. Yeah, but even when you're holding it, make sure that that is very much... Well, it goes to the center if you notice, so it shouldn't matter. Well, yeah. Just, just like, just FYI there. <laughs> Don't drop it, because now I'll suck that up the vacuum. Wouldn't be the first time. What, suck it up or use the vacuum? Yeah. How many parts have you lost in the vacuum over the years? I don't have carpet. I've got polished floorboards. Just saying. So am I. Just saying. Just saying. You don't vacuum polished no. floorboards? No, I don't vacuum at all, mate. Did that? <laughs> <laughs> no, just get out the, go get out the carcher. <coughs> But, no, the floor is about an inch and a half thick so far, so it's a look. It was really cheap carpet, mate. It's all fuzzy. It looks good. A bit musty. You just re reapply it every spring when the cat molts. Yeah. Yep. <coughs> How did I go? I've got a feeling. Oh, what a feeling! I like it. Do you? I like it a lot. How much do you really like it? I'll tell you what, I'll help you out with this one. I'll put the cap on the bottom. Put the cap on? Yeah. Just making sure that screw is... Because the last thing you want to do is cross thread <clears throat> a new shot cap, no? That's right. Especially, that, especially one of mine. That is the um, usually the, the death of these shot caps, isn't it? Is Actually, no. Because they're 2mm, you can get a 2.5mm screw and just tap it in. This it's really good about that is um, the way they are. It's quite easy to you know resurrect it if you do actually strip it eventually, which you will do. It, it happens. I've stripped plenty. They just get because when you're bleeding them in and out, in and out with the screw. Because we'll often ble well, bleed them during the day as well, especially in summer. So if you're at a, you know if, if if you're at a club day and you're really not too stressed, you won't do it. Well, I don't anyway. I just race the cars and then go home. You know what I mean. But if you're in a major event and you want the car to be really spot on, you should be bleeding them between each race. But or, mainly or at least getting the you know the the air out. You can feel when they pack up. And yeah. usually usually because um, you know, the temperature usually gets warm at the middle of the day. Yeah, you get that little bit extra rebound feel in yeah. the car. When um, that when the car starts landing really awesome, that's when you need to <laughs> bleed them. But it's maybe not the greatest through the turns. Springs, bounces. Wing a bit. <clears throat> you like them? What's that? Springs. Oh, they're great. We've got a green rear and we've got a yellow front. Yep. Tried, true, tested. Feel that. That's just like supreme. Is it? Yeah. So which way do you put your springs on? With the paint at the top or the bottom? Um, usually at the bottom. What? I'm at the top. Because I like to be neat. What do you mean neat? Well, that's how. That's bottom. not neat. It's going to get covered in dirt and crap. Yeah, I usually face it away and then that's it. Yeah, that's fine. That way people no, can't. Sorry, that way my, people, my, my people OCD can't, can't, people can't copy that. my setup. Oh, oh, oh. wow. You one of these guys, are you? Nah. Hey? No. You one of these guys. I, that... I think they look messy at the top. That's all. Do you? Especially when you got bits of bloody furry heat shrink on there. I know. I normally paint them. Okay. Well, I want to paint them, but you said I would. I would be. You want? Do you want to probably do Leonardo da Vinci? 
I want to paint the whole screen, but you just like look at me. All right. Like I have leprosy or something. Well, you do. Have you got? Oh, look at this. Let's go. It's an hour and twenty, and we're into it. We we'll have the screws facing. Where's the square blocks? Oh, they might be in here. I reckon they're in here. Oh, look at that. I have reckon. Got... I reckon I've. I found one. Oh, there's two. Have you got some nuts for me? There's a pair of nuts. Seems you lacking some. I like to, um, not the five and a half, turn in that. Plenty of nuts. The five and a half? I thought we had a discussion about this. Yeah, we did. <clears throat> now I like to do the top one up first. What, well, until you strip it, then back it off? Just make did sure you it's notice, not what, Did you notice that we aren't running the plastic? Take, pop that off. You notice we're not running the plastic ones of those? Yeah, we put the aloe ones on, didn't we? Yeah. And that is for a bit of extra, extra durability. Two things. When you do the nut up, you can actually do the nut right up until it bottoms out on the aluminium. Yes. And it doesn't swell and, and make the shop go tight, like all tight and, and kind of jammed up there. The other thing too is because it's threaded, it adds extra th threaded strength to the bolt. So if you do bin it, which that happens a lot, particularly when Brett's driving, yep. um, you'll bend the screw, but you don't necessarily snap it. Continue. Yeah, I like to actually put a brace on mine. Weld, weld a brace across the front of the... Yep. I've seen your braces. <laughs> uh, like 50 mil RHS. <laughs> That's right. Across the front, near the mud scoop. Yeah. Nice little wing mount. Yeah. Bit of RHS wing mount. Yep. Um, and these ones, I've never actually used the alloy before, but they actually got no, no preload. No. no, no issues. So the little square inserts probably yep. not my biggest dislike about the car. Your biggest dislike yep. is the rear inserts into the A arm that the, the shock screw goes into. And that is because you're taking the, I suppose you're giving a movement or flex. Well, it's just it's just the, the insert insert is removable because you can flop it you know, like you switch Swap it around offset, yeah. to change where you actually shock is it is yeah. threading or mounting yeah but the thing is the leverage on the screw becomes uh, that great that it, it can actually unwind, unwind it. it it does unwind it on the right hand side of the car mm. not on the left hand side and see we get past that in one eighth by actually introducing uh left hand left thread. and right hand threaded screws so so yeah. that could be an option for you to explore maybe is put left hand screws on the possibly right -hand side. yes possibly definitely but uh, you, you better, haven't got that yet better option is just get rid of that and have a proper thread in the arm what's fred got to do with it oh uh, got nothing anyway these go into the you got a little line mark a little line mark there yep on okay. the top that tells you where you got a line on the one side and the other and it tells you where the actual you could probably find that picture and show everyone. I am trying to. Somebody is just... So we're going to the second hole. Are we? Says who? Says... That's what the kit says, but I'm not. Oh, that doesn't surprise me. Okay. So the little line that Simon was talking about, so I get all up in your junk there, mate. Is this one here? And the nut? And that slots into the yard here, and that gives us... By rotating, that gives us four options. Yeah. Of holes. Yeah. So which hole are we going for? I'm going inner. What? Most inner to start off with. Oh my god. Okay. Really? Yep. All right. Yep. How does this thing land after jumps at all? Doesn't it just smack its belly in? It's just like Superman. This thing. Is it? Yep. All right. It's really. It's just. It's a. It's a total Clark Kent scenario. <laughs> Did you call me? I always start at the kit ones and move out pretty quickly. Do you? It? Usually. Well, that's probably why you're never doing so well. Where are we going in the front hole? Surely in the outer hole. Inner. Really? <coughs> and you wonder why the car's angry. Is that what you're saying? The car's not angry. All right. The car's just... <coughs> just awesome. Now, what you're doing by changing these, these holes and where they're mounted is how the um the piston acts isn't it piston the speed the piston speed inside the, the yeah. damper it, it actually so has a massive um massive effect massive effect on how 
the shock is is able to control the dampening for a start. So the further out, the faster the shock's working. Yes. Okay. Um, so generally, on the rougher track, you'll go narrower. So when you slow smaller. down, when you slow the piston down, you actually get better oil control. Yes. But when you speed it up, you don't. So that's why generally you go move it out when the track's really smooth and mm. a bit like a touring car on road type track. <clears throat> or kilo. I'm excited to get my truck out. Your truck? My Euro truck. Your Tamiya one? Yeah. Five and a half mil please to tighten up those two. Um... Look at this. This is buggy looking. Is it not? Yeah. What are we doing next? Can oh. I put a... Is it wheels? Is it wheels? Wheels. 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 Are you going to put a motor in? Have we got a motor? Yeah. Where? Got a... Where? What kind of motor? A dash oh. V3. Did you dash out there and grab that? Dash got dash. We've got no centre drive shaft, but at least it can make it look pretty. Well, we, we don't have a centre diff at the moment because I... I might have borrowed I it. I lent it to someone and they have not given it back. He's just absconded have... with it. Well, because of the plastic diff scenario and just... Well, I built this brand new diff with plastic gears and all and someone said, oh. Can, can I, I just that. can I borrow that for a second? And that's the last I've seen it. Is it? Yeah. Now, what's even better <clears throat> is I know how much you like white wheels. Oh no, 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 no white wheels. I've got some two wheel fronts we can put on. <laughs> it's torturous. I love it. You and white wheels. No. Well, have a look. Look at that. That's white wheels, and that's black and white picture. Yeah, so how do you know it's white? <laughs> Just quick, it, move the box. There's certain, oh. there's certain <laughs> brands of car that, that use yellow wheels. Um, it's generally not a good one. So, is it? What? 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 Yellow wheels. I know nothing. No, I actually like yellow wheels. I think they actually glue up a little bit better. Yellow for the win. No, I think they actually glue up a little bit better. Yellow for the win. Because you can... Have you noticed how they're like a little bit opa opaque, a little bit translucent? You can see where the glue goes. Maybe they're a bit pale like Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Oh. Maybe. Maybe you should just moonwalk. <laughs> maybe. Um, too many... Um, I'm sorry if I've offended any... Michael too many Jackson Bobo tablets. <laughs> Bobo? <laughs> Well, yeah, that bubbles? Is... Bubbles, that's who it was. Bubbles. bubbles. The Bobo, where are you taking it? <laughs> You're just making up chimp names. I thought you were talking about Botox. This is getting pretty intense here, trying yeah, to work on the car. Well, just sliding have... the motor in there. You don't have to worry about a mesh. No. Look at that. Did you see the way it landed then? Oh, it was just like a cat. I'm still going to um, move the. Got a bit of um, rear camber here, mate. I don't know if you <coughs> read the verniers right. Did you? No, I didn't even use verniers on the rear. I just, I just like, basically just thought I'd wing it. I need to wing it, mate. Where's the body? We'll throw the body on. Oh, well, it's the funny thing about the body. <laughs> it's the way the pain is, isn't it? No, I lost it. You lost it. I don't know what I've done with it. Um, it's probably not. It's probably not making it, doing it any favors, mate. Putting a three wheel on. <laughs> it's sitting like a V dub. Woohoo! Look at that. It's gonna land like a cat. Yeah. Look, it is beautiful. I'll tell you what. Tell I'll, me. I'll have to, no, no. You have to pop these links off. Yep. And we'll just. Uh, We're gonna give it a zhuzh up. We're gonna. You're gonna take it away. You're gonna put radio in it. Radio Goo Goo, Radio Gaga. Radio Gaga in it, then well, you're going to bring, well, bring it back, we'll do an overview, take it to the, thra the track and thrash it. What do you reckon? Take it to the track and thrash it? Yeah. What do you think you're going to get to drive it? No, I'm not going to drive it. No chance. What are you trying to say? Huh? <laughs> I'm not saying nothing, I'm just, just saying, saying no chance. Just, just how it is, no chance. Alright guys, thanks for watching, that has been episode 3. Episode... 
three. The Yokomo YZ4 yep. SF2 build. Um, yeah, we've built kind of three episodes. It's come together. It's yeah. Young Simon's going to take it away here and put the finishing touches off it yeah. on it. Yeah. Bring it back in and we'll give it a good going over. What do you reckon? Yeah. And yellow wheels, I hope. Oh, definitely, definitely. So we'll chuck a speedy in and we'll wire it up. Um, I don't know how we're going to go for center diff because it's, I'll probably have to get deck collectors onto that job. <laughs> oh. I will. I will donate it to the. I'll let you borrow one. Oh, I'll hi. let you borrow one. What well, do you reckon? You're all hard. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank well, you. Well, we're, we're Hearn's Hobbies. I'm Brett, and this is Simon. And thanks for watching us build the Yokomo YZF SF2 with the goodies on it from the Goody Bandits. Thank you. Thanks, guys.